On April 1st, 2021, I ditched a career I absolutely hated to better myself and do the things I've always wanted to do. And that included my growing love and obsession with Ireland. I want to learn everything. Culture, history, mythology, music, and the language. Which, if I'm being honest, looks really hard to learn, but I'm going to give it the old Smith try. Then, of course, there is my love of pubs and the role that they've played throughout history, and no better example of that than on that beautiful, beleaguered island in the North Atlantic, Ireland. April 1st, 2026, I depart for the Emerald Isle, and for one year, I'll hike town by town and conduct interviews with pub owners, pub regulars, historians, town know-it-alls, musicians, and basically anybody that wants to talk to me. If you'd like to support the project and the journey, basic Patreon support is only three bucks a month, but just liking a video or subscribing to the channel and following the journey is just as helpful. I'm always looking for volunteers to work as liaisons for the project too, so if you live in Ireland and know people, feel free to hit me up. This is a huge goal and I need all the help I can get. The Smitty Learns Irish podcast begins April 26th and will be my life's work. Thank you. From the latest album, Com's Council Skies. Who requested this, by the way? Who suggested Noel Gallagher in this instance? David. Would love to see more reaction to Noel's music. He just released a new album, in fact. A uh, highlight for him was Dead to the World. Uh, he just went through a divorce. Yeah, well, divorce is fantastic song fuel. Uh, all right. I was really, really happy. Now that I'm starting to get into Oasis, even though I've known a few from Oasis before, but I'd never heard Noel Gallagher did the album reaction to that and really loved the uh, just the way he constructs songs and the way it's layered and the lyrical wordplay. Man, uh, really, really impressed. So let's listen to Dead to the World from Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds. You can change all the words, still make them wrong. Yeah, great lyrical wordplay. Uh, fantastic. Um, and I, whoever's in charge of the mix on this, I think has done it brilliantly. Such a subdued vocal. And it's almost like it could be overpowered by the orchestration and the layering and things like that. Uh, but it's mixed so well that those things really meld together. Uh, and there's those elements are still up high enough where you really get impacted by it. Uh, so well done. Well done on the mix.
Yeah, I mean, it sounds like a song uh, that uh, was written about a divorce. 100%. Uh, I can hear that. Just really great layering and really great orchestration. Yeah, I th- honestly, if you can write a song that is super relatable to that mindset, which I think they did re- or he did really effectively right there, where, <laughs> you know, I've been divorced and I've had some breakups, you know, and you're just like, what the fuck is going on where uh, you're just completely shut off and nothing makes sense. And I think that was really conveyed really well in that song. Noel Gallagher, man, it's more uh, it's a good song uh, and impressive every time I listen to him. So. Uh, well done. Nice request, whoever. Uh, oh, wait. I did say who did that. David. Way to go. Uh, I could see more. I could see myself doing more, Noel Gallagher. Wouldn't mind it. It's such a weird thing, too, because doing these reaction videos, typically, I would be just in my off time listening to this music. But now I'm like, oh, should I react to that? <laughs> Probably should. What the hell? Everything!